Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now, what we've got today is a fairly uh, interesting one guys, or at least I hope so. Um, we're going to try now to the packet pick on um, a lock which has been giving some people some problems. So um, what we, I think anyway, what we've got in here um, is a Lockwood 334 padlock. Um, which won't open, so it's keyless. Uh, okay, this is another lock, all right. That's a sort of a um, kind of a challenge lock type thing. We'll deal with that later. Um, but what I think is in here is a Lockwood padlock that hasn't got a key, and some guys who um, know what they're doing haven't been able to pick it. So there's obviously some sort of issue with this. Now um, the guy who sent this to me did mention that um, it might have some identifying features on it so I've got some masking tape here and what I'm probably just going to do here is quickly just off camera um, see if yeah okay I, I can see there is something on there so I'm, I'm just going to take this up off screen okay guys just so that you um, you don't see anything that you shouldn't do um, it I'm just kind of talking as I go here. Uh, it's well wrapped up. It does. <laughs> right. It's got a wee message to me written on it. Just give me a second here, and we'll um, we'll tape up the bits that you that you really don't need to see, and then I'll show you the message. <coughs> More strip of tape should do it. Okay, all right. Um, oh, and there's the guy's username there. I'll, I'll just put a bit of tape over that as well. Right. Okay. So um, we've we've now got um, a lock that. Um, doesn't have any identifying marks on it now, um, but it does have a wee note to me that says. <laughs> that so I think we can now guess why we're going to have trouble getting into this lock but um, let's I, I guess we're making an assumption there so nobody's been able to get into this okay and the assumption is that it's a bidding issue but whether or not that's true we will discover as we get into it now I'm just looking to find attention tool good enough I think that should be be good enough that one there um, I pick these a little bit differently to most guys so um, most guys use very light tension on these I, I don't tend to do that I actually tend to use quite heavy tension so we shall see what we find um, okay well uh, okay Right, well I'm having trouble getting to the rear pins. I've got the first few pins set. Okay, but we definitely need something steeper down the back there. So let's just get in and see what this gives us. I've got, got a few pins set here. I don't think I've dropped too much. I do think there's something down the back I haven't been able to get to yet. So we might actually need to get in there with my steepest problem solving pick, which is the good old Peterson number five hook. Yeah, lots of things set there. Two's a binder. Okay, well that wasn't too hard. So um, okay, let's let's just open it up and um, and see what's in there. <coughs> Uh, have we got? Oh, 
Jesus Christ, I can't get that open. Okay, we've got a problem, guys. Um, that, that's in there to stay. I'm going to get another screwdriver. Just give, me a, give me a second here. If this doesn't work, we'll use an electric screwdriver. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're in. Okay, so pretty standard sort of a Lockwood core. Um, I don't know that we want to lock that back up again. Let's get the tail piece off of there. That's one. That's two. Well, this might end up being a quicker video than I thought it was going to be, guys. Um, I was kind of hoping and envisaging this might be a, a bit of a tricky one, but um, looks like it's ended up as, as being a wee bit of an easy beat, I think. Okay, so, uh, all right. It's been pinned up by somebody, so this is um, pinning that isn't straight out of the factory. Six pins, and the drivers I think probably are just going to be the thin lip spools. Yeah, one, two, three, Four, five, and one to come. Six. All right. Well, um, I'm surprised that it was as easy as it was. Um, but I, I guess what we learned there was that there is a bit of a trick to um, picking these Lockwood 334s. Um, you need good control of the tension so like I said I use much higher tension picking locks than virtually every other guy I know really um, so you need a, a tension tool that is going to fit in there and and give you a real good control um, then you need a pick which um, you trust so you need to be able to understand the feedback obviously and um, that's what this short hook that Tiffany made for me is all about and then for the occasional locks where you can't get in where the bitting is a little bit tricky um, you need something slightly steeper so I've got um, the, the three hooks that I use for almost all locks are this one here, this is my Tiffany. It's it's based on a Tron, although Tiffany has um, modified that heavily and, and done his own thing there. That's a hook number seven. That's a Peterson number seven. Um, a lot of guys don't like Peterson picks. I love them. I rate them very highly indeed. So um, that's in the very thin material. I don't know what it is, 15th hour or whatever it is. Um, and then my steep hook is a Peterson number no. 5 in uh, 18th hour because that's really good for uh, acid twins. So there we go guys, hope you learned something, I certainly enjoyed it, thanks for watching eh.